Right. So obviously the most reasonable test of performance of all of these low-end laptops is to see what sort of a time I can set in this particular hill climb track in BMNG in the Ibishu Covet 1.5 ZXI Special Edition manual. I'm currently using a Logitech G920. I think it's a G920. And a manual shifter. And I'm going to have to try and stop the shifter from clacking a whole lot in the audio recording. We'll see how we go with that. It's probably going to annoy the hell out of Too bad. So I've actually made a big mess on my normal desk. I might pop a quick photo up of what I've done here. What we're going to be doing is running through all of these laptops in the order I think will be fastest to most depressing. First of all, we're going to be quickly doing a lap on a Lenovo IdeaPad Pro, which has a Core Ultra 7 with an integrated Arc 8 GPU. That, I think, represents the absolute best possible case scenario for gaming performance on an integrated GPU on Windows. Uh, so that's what we're doing here. Um, I've got the Afterburner overlay up and ready to go. We are at 720p low settings in BeamNG, and as you can see, this GPU and CPU is absolutely ripping along at way over 100 FPS in this one. So what I'm going to do is quickly jump inside the car so I know what I'm doing. Do a lap, uh, hopefully not crash too many times in the process, and then we'll quickly switch to the MSI Modern 15. Radio, let's go. The whole internet's about to laugh at my driving skills. Look at that, I've almost lost it on the first corner. That's even after a few practice laps. I thought, so that I don't look completely hopeless at this, I'll do, you know, three, four, five uh, practice laps first, just to get good at it, and then my driving skills won't be the bottleneck for the performance on this. The performance of the laptop will be. Uh, so, yeah, we'll definitely, we'll definitely see how that goes. Ooh. I think I left the force feedback on this wheel turned up way too high. It's basically trying to pull itself out of hand and probably just... Oh, yeah, no, nah, overcooks back. So there we go. Anyway, ignoring how crappy my lap time's going to be, uh, as you can see, this Intel Core Ultra 7 and Arc 8 integrated GPU is having absolutely no trouble here. Uh, I, I can tell you that this one will actually run this game quite happily at 1080p on the normal settings. You're getting 40-something FPS, but it feels responsive enough, especially with a, when you're using a racing wheel and pedals. I mean, cars are not particularly responsive any mechanical objects anyway. They're big, fat, heavy, soggy things. Stop shifting into first on that corner. Big, heavy, soggy things that take a while to respond. So, uh, yeah, 40-something FPS is fine. I'd probably play that on... Uh, an, 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 are we calling it Arc 8? Notebook check calls it Arc 8. Otherwise, it's just Intel... What is it? Intel Arc Graphics, I think, it identifies as. What's interesting is, as you can see, so this laptop's got 32 gigs of RAM in it, and the GPU can use up to 16 of those, and as you can see, it's using 2 gigs of uh, shared RAM for video memory. 13.6 gigs system RAM is full, so everything other than the MSI Modern 15 is probably going to have a problem here, because they don't have more than 8 gigs of RAM. In fact, one of them's got 4. But we'll see how we go. 720p low is what I'm going to stick to across the board on these. Uh, alrighty. So, uh, as you can see, I'm doing pretty consistent times here. I've had 6 goes at this. We're getting somewhere between 159 and 203. I know that those times are miles apart. But we're going to... Well, I'm going to use that 159 as my best time when we switch to the different laptops, so let's go with that. Alright, time to grab the MSI Modern 15 and uh, see how we go. Alright, MSI Modern 15. So we're now on a Ryzen 5 7530U. We've got a Radeon Vega 7 iGPU, uh, which as you can see by the afterburner overlay is currently clocked at 2 gigahertz, so it's one of the uh, refreshed faster Vegas. We're running at 30 watts on the CPU, we've got 16 gigs of RAM on board and we're using quite a lot of it. All right, we're back in Jungle Rock Island in BMNG in the Covet, which is obviously the best car I've made. Let's go, see how I do.
So initial impression is we're rather alarmingly at less than half of the uh, frame rate of the Intel Arc 8 iGPU. Jeez, we're sort of barely hanging on to 50 here, nowhere near 60. Uh, so, you know, it's it's noticeably choppier, but uh, still, you know, it's still pretty playable. Really, ooh, it's, it's getting real choppy up here. Uh, responsiveness is still fine. Let's see if I can avoid overcooking this next one. Uh, no, I overcooked the one in front of it instead. <laughs> ah, shh, sh no. Go covet. Go covet. For anyone that actually plays this game, I don't know if you ever noticed how bad the gearing on this thing is, uh, unless you unless you tinker with it. It's absolutely appalling with the uh, standard gearbox in whatever variant this is. It feels like first gear runs out immediately, and then second gear just kind of goes forever. Tell you what, that uh, what what well, the, well this MSI has got one of the best screens here. Second. Whoa, no, we're good. Second best uh, screen of any of these uh, cheaper laptops here. It's it's still it's pretty washed out. The red on the interior doesn't look red. It's kind of kind of brown uh, on this screen, which is unfortunate. Quite light rate interiors in cars. They can be quite polarizing. Oh, I nearly lost it there. There we go. How'd we do? 204. So I was about one and a bit seconds uh, slower than I was on the Core Ultra 7. Alright, next. Alright, so we're now on the HP 15S with a Ryzen 5500U, I think, uh, which is actually a Ryzen 4500U and AMD Elias and HP Elias, and I hate them for that. As you can see, this is going dreadfully well, and I'm certainly not starting to regret my life decisions here. Uh, also, the screen's very yellow. I can't do anything about that. It just is. For some reason, uh, it looks blue as heck on the laptop's internal screen, and through the HDMI out, it's just... it's basically pe peed itself. We've got a 16GB RAM is recommended warning in the top right, at least on this laptop, unlike... I think all of them have, have soldered RAM, don't they, other than this one? At least you could upgrade it on this one. I could upgrade it on this one for this test, but I'm not. I'm just running them how they how they can. So, too bad. Now, uh, immediately, you may have noticed that we have a frame rate problem. Yes. It's low. It's really low. We're on 720p low. Uh, are we? Let's, let's double check, because perhaps we've actually gone to... You know what? I think it's switched back to 1080p, because it's stupid. Okay, you know what? I don't know what I did, uh, but I made it actually 720p, and now there's a kind of a frame rate. Look at that. So, I thought this one might be close to the MSI. It's not. This is terrible. Alright, um, well, I suppose we'll press on. I can drive at 28 FPS. Surely. Surely this will be fine. Alright, off we go. Keep screwing these launches up. Okay, it's not 28, it's actually less than that. Ooh, I think, I think it might be choking on the physics a little bit. Wow. I swear I've managed to do that corner without spilling that before. Same with that one. Hmm, it says, shortly before crashing again. Well, this is a significantly less enjoyable experience. Uh, I hope that the rest of them aren't more slow than this, because this is not good. Well, we can, we can hazard some guesses at how that's going to go. So, uh, this laptop has got a Vega 7 just like the MSI. It is an older generation Vega 7, as you can see. It's not running very fast. And also, this laptop insists on running the CPU at 15 watts, which it's currently doing. And, and that between that and the fact that it's got a single stick of RAM in it, this ain't going to be fast. If you were to upgrade it to dual channel in pursuit of high performance, you'd basically be wasting your time. Uh, a chip of this age is simply not going to be that good at 15 watts. If it was a generation newer, like literally if it was just a 6000 series chip, 
you kind of get in the ballpark of a Steam Deck's uh, GPU performance, maybe, maybe at 15 months, you get kind of close, get some, I think roughly resembling that, not on one of these, too old, especially because it's actually technically 4000 series, chip just kind of repackaged and rebranded. This is this is genuinely getting a bit rough. <laughs> it's genuinely getting a bit difficult. And I'm, I'm properly concerned about how the uh, rest laptops are going to go. The rest of them are all... No, we've got one. We've got that Core i3 that I think it should be called an Atom or a Pentium or a Celeron because it's not my 3 We've got... Uh, and then, oh wait, there's a Ryzen 3, and then a couple of uh, Athlons, those would be interesting. Alright, how did I do? How did I do? Uh, a 206 by the looks of it. Oh, there, there you have it folks, frames win games, and a lack of them slows you down by 2 seconds. Radio Asus VivoBook Go with a Core i3N305, is that what we decided it was? I, I can barely remember, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I don't know if you can hear the fan noise in the background, but I think this is the noisiest one yet, despite the fact we're only using about 22 watts. Uh, so, lovely OLED display on this. It looks, well, because the brightness is currently cranked up, it looks even nicer than the uh, screen that it's mirroring to. Okay, so, this is bad. The game hasn't loaded in yet, but we're, we're, not, we're not looking at very high frame rates here, are we? Perhaps once it finishes loading my beautiful cupboard, uh, it'll go up. Oh, look at that. It did. It went up to 19. Please go up more. 23, 26, yep, yep. Oh, ah. The sort of... Okay, well, so it's it's not worse than the H... Yes, it is. It's worse than the HP. Okay, off we go. Let's see how it holds up through the duration of the lap. Oh, not well. Not well at all. The frame pacing is terrible. Oh, wow. Okay, so the moment I started moving, we dropped all of the frames. Feels like the physics engine is keeping up. It's just really laggy. I don't know if you noticed the really big obvious warning in the right hand corner as well, rudely uh, telling us not to use that Intel GPU. Well, you know what? It's, it's hard not to agree. So from what I can gather, well, all of, the, all of the software that I used to check the, the specs on this laptop is reporting that it's got one RAM channel. Which is not helping the not very big 32 core XE integrated graphics at all. But even then, jeez, it's doing a lot worse than that Vega 7. The Vega 7 in the HP uh, and the MSI, they're much bigger than this GPU though, so... Dual channel RAM really helps them, well when they've got enough watts. A 32 core uh, Iris XE, really not Iris. But I keep seeing Iris because I'm too used to XE graphics being the Iris version. So it's a it's a it's a small fraction of an Iris XE. So a 32 core XE GPU. Whatever it's called. Intel UHD graphics probably. Anyway, it's crap. As you can see, it's it's not good. <laughs> uh We're really struggling with frame timing. Jeez. It's alright, I got this. Really struggling with frame timing here. Uh, it's bad. It's, it's getting very hard to control at times. Uh oh. No, we're good, we're good. I got it. Alright, well, so I've definitely bent the car a bit, but in general. We're good. How we do? How did we do? 207. You know what? The slower these get, the, the more they're adding to my time. I'm genuinely not driving as well as the frame rate drops. But it's kind of what you'd expect once we're down below sort of 60. When you start hacking off, well down below, let's say down below 45, once you start hacking off large percentages of that frame rate, things are just going to go to hell. Well, this was terrible. Unfortunately, I think that the last three are all going to be worse. Hmm. So what are you doing for the long weekend? Really? 
That's all. Jeez. Oh, that's a shame. No, not really. Not, not much. Sitting here watching loading bars, apparently. Hmm. Right, so this computer that appears to have currently frozen is the Acer Aspire 3. So in this one, we have a Ryzen 3 7320U, uh, which is a four core eight thread chip with a Radeon 610 integrated GPU. And the last three laptops all have a Radeon 610, uh, but with different, different processor core configurations. We've got eight gigabytes of RAM in this one. I think it's arranged in dual channel and I think this one constantly runs the CPU at 25 watts uh, well the APU at 25 watts total when it's fully loaded but we'll find out this is not no rush is it are we done is that it okay all right that's bad so <laughs> we're at 20 22 FPS now sinking to new lows here all right, so I was struggling significantly at 20 sort of, well, what would you call the Asus's range 18 to 25? This is gonna be worse, isn't it? Oh well, off we go. Uh oh, lag, it's lagging. Inputs are lagging, this is gonna be bad. Yes, yes it is. So the best part about this is that this is the third slowest laptop that Ryzen 3 quad core is going to be helping us out here a little bit. Probably not too much by the fact that we're at 100% GPU usage and the package power is only at about 18 watts. I think that we might be getting severely GPU bottlenecked. So yeah, I guess Radeon 610M is not really up to BeamNG. If you're not aware, I guess a lot of people probably won't be, Radeon 610M is a 128 core, a 6000 series Radeon. So for some perspective on that, a 6900XT is somewhere around, someone correct me on this, I think it's somewhere around 6000. Uh, cores, about 5,000, 6,000 cores. Uh, going way down the scale, Radeon uh, 680M is 768 cores. So we've got a very small fraction of a decent GPU in this. Like a decent integrated GPU is many times as big as this, so pretty small. Well, that's bad. I'm good. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. We'll press on. We might not be able to press on. I think I might have just killed the cop. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'll be fine. I don't think we're fine. <laughs> Come on. Come on, covet. You can do it. The worst thing is, when it's broken like this, I really need to be compensating for the messed up steering, but with the input lag that this has, which is just insane, uh, it's difficult to do so. Regardless, we're pressing on. This is not good. Alright. Bit of a tight left-hander coming up here. Whoop. Don't worry, guys, I got this. Alright, that's the finish up there. Come on. Come on, Covet. You can do it. Mm. Mm. Nope. Excuse me. Keep go keep steering the wrong way. Where are you going? Look, shh, calm down. Calm, gentle, precise inputs, and we'll be fine. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's so broken. 
We might not be fine. I don't think I can get through. <laughs> I don't think I can get through that finish line. Oh, oh. Go, Covet. <sighs> Three minutes, 31. Okay, well, moving on to the last two. This is going to be a disaster. All right, second last laptop. Dell Inspiron 15, 35, 30? 35, 30, I think. We have a AMD Athlon 7220U. Uh, that's not much CPU. That's two cores, four threads, and a Radeon 610M. So we're still at 22 FPS, just like the Ryzen 3 in the Acer, but we're using 13 watts to get there. So this is a bit more power efficient for just sitting here, not doing anything. If you look at the CPU, you see it's spiking up high often because yeah there's just two two cpu cores there's not really any overhead to do anything so we've got eight gigs of ram in this one thankfully <laughs> uh hmm well off we go let's see let's see just how bad this is i think it was the best launch i've done yet Go Team Inspiron. All right, it's it's interesting that the frame pacing is so much better than it was on the Acer. So it's running slow, but it feels much smoother. That being said, the input lag is intense. Ooh, I'm kind of having to. Whoa, big. Okay, big frame time spike there. I'm kind of having to. Do everything a split second before I sh think I should. Oh. 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 Oh, <laughs> so Bloody hell. Yeah, um, I kind of wish that you could see how, how far out of sync the what's on the screen is with my wheel and pedal inputs and, and shifter inputs. It's, it's really bad. Yeah, it's, it's not good. It's okay, is it fine? Is it fine? It's fine, yes. Don't worry, it's still fine. We're still fine. We're coping. This <laughs> is honestly just starting to get really stressful. It's been it's been a while since the frame rate was good. I guess the MSI was the last time it was sort of still enjoyable. Hmm. So I've done better than better than last time because I haven't crashed quite as badly. So we've managed to get through the finish line. Yeah, we do. Two thirteen something. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm absolutely dreading this, but it's time to get rid of half the processing threads and half the RAM. Well, there you have it. The little Lenovo that couldn't. I've just waited about 10 minutes for it to try and load into the level in BeamNG, and it just, it won't. It's, it's incapable of gaming. Let's just leave it at that. Well, on that entirely predictable note, I guess we're done here. You can't game on 4 gigs of RAM on a 2-core CPU. That's it for this one. More content on these potatoes coming soon. Keep an eye out. If you're not subscribed, perhaps you should be. Goodbye.